Hello and welcome back to another Infinite Flight tutorial. In this video, I'll show you to authenticate your account, connect to the community forum, and change your call sign. Whether you're a new or current customer, we've made managing your Infinite Flight Pro account a breeze. After installing the app, you'll find yourself on the Infinite Flight home screen where you can enjoy many included features in solo mode, or you can become a pro subscriber unlocking a global multiplayer experience with an incredibly diverse fleet of aircraft. We begin by tapping Get Pro in the top right corner. From here, you can find the pro subscription that's right for you. If you already have an account, simply tap I already have an account in the bottom right and choose your previously used login method. With a quick authentication, whether via Facebook, Google, or the community forum, your Infinite Flight account will be accessed. Once logged into your Infinite Flight account, you can connect it directly to your community forum account. Your community display name will also serve as your username in app. This allows you to connect with others in the Infinite Flight community with better user visibility. Of course, if you'd like to remain anonymous, you can tap the Live tab in Settings and deselect the Show Username in Flight, which will keep your community forum name hidden, instead displaying a unique user ID. If you're a current customer updating your app to version 20.2, your account will remain logged in and it's as simple as connecting your Infinite Flight Community Forum account. Tap Your Account in the top right corner of the main menu and select Connect to link your Community Forum account. This allows you to easily access your account from multiple devices, whether iOS or Android. Next, let's talk about call signs. Infinite Flight has made it easy to change your call sign on the fly, whether using an airliner or general aviation call sign. To change our call sign, we'll tap the user icon in the top right corner and select Call Sign, where we'll find a complete list of airlines operated on Infinite Flight and around the world. The first column is used to select the airline. Then we change the specific flight number, which is limited to five characters. Lastly, adding a suffix if operating as a heavy, super, or formation flight. Tap OK and you're ready to start a flight. What about general aviation? In our call sign interface, you'll find a general aviation tab with correctly formatted registration numbers for every country in the world. Tap the country's format you wish to use and follow the guided format shown in the text box. For example, using a Canadian registration, I can see that there are three unique alphabetical characters I can use to complete the standard call sign which begins with Charlie Golf in Canada. If the format is incorrect, you'll receive a prompt to guide you on the available characters you can use for that country's registration. Once satisfied, select OK and return to the main menu. You can also change your call sign during a flight, so not to worry if you've forgotten. Lastly, virtual airlines. You can now display your virtual airline affiliation directly in-app under your information tab. This is visible to all other pilots around you and can be a great way to show off your membership to one of our many community organizations. To change this, you'll tap on your account icon from the community forum, select the settings icon, preferences, followed by profile. Scroll down and you'll find a virtual organization dropdown. Here you can scroll to locate or type in your VA. Be sure you click Save Changes and your affiliation will be visible within a few minutes. For more help with our account setup, head over to our Getting Started Guide at InfiniteFlight.com. Stay connected by following us on social media at Infinite Flight, and of course subscribe to the channel for more helpful tutorials like this. I'll see you in the next one.